Hey, welcome back. It's likely you'll travel to see family or friends this holiday season, but if you're a senior citizen, you know it can be an exhausting and timely process. Jeff Welsh, a cognitive support specialist for Ride at Home, is in studio to make sure our loved ones are prepared to travel. I was just telling you stories about my sweet grandpa in the right. commercial break, so tell me what you do. Uh, I own a company called Right at Home, and I'm a cognitive support specialist there. And uh, we care for seniors in, in their homes, so uh, people can stay there longer, uh, safely, and uh, more independent than possibly so, otherwise. So you know firsthand the, the trials and tribulations of traveling with or as a senior. That's right. I mean, you see it every day. If you, yeah. if you travel a lot, it's a crazy time to travel. Oh, gosh. This weather is going to make it worse. So you really have to think through what's going to happen if you're traveling with a senior or you are elderly and you're traveling. So first things first, should you talk to your doctor just to make sure you're cleared to go in general? That's right. You should, especially if you have a physical illness, you should get clearance from that doctor. Make sure that the travel is appropriate and safe. So if we're going on a long road trip or even a long flight as a senior, what's some advice to help them prepare for that travel? Well, you can uh, definitely want to make sure that you're wearing comfortable clothes, shoes. Uh, consider compression stockings so the blood okay. flow is good if you're going to be sitting in a these airplane seats with such little room, yes. that's a really important thing to do. Consider also, how are you gonna get from the car to the airport mm -hmm. to the gate? That's a big one. And call the airline ahead of time and ask them uh, for a wheelchair. You don't wanna go to the airport and then ask for a wheelchair. You might be waiting past the time the plane leaves. And what about medication? Uh, with your medication, you want to make sure you take it on the plane with you in the, in the carry-on. Don't check your medicine. That's really smart. Right. Now, when it comes to getting other people in the loop, who should know what about where Grandma's going this holiday season? Well, the people who are going to receive her, if she's traveling alone, make sure they know the entire itinerary. Make sure she does too. Um, you could text it to somebody that, and to her as well, so it's on her phone, but um, definitely all the people who are expecting her need to understand everything about her trip. And uh, of course you would too if you're making the plans. Absolutely, so you had one idea you were just telling me before the break yeah. that you can do to help with their cell phone because I was telling you, that's the story I was telling, my grandpa's phone always dies. His phone always is out of battery. Yeah, yeah. Well, my idea is if you tape your phone number on the back of their really phone, smart. if they get lost, if they forget your phone uh, number or uh, the phone dies, the phone dies, <laughs> then you have another way to reach them. That's great. Jeff yeah. Welsh, thank you so much thank for joining you. us this morning. How Appreciate can people get in touch with you? Thanks. Uh, you can call our uh, toll free number 877-236-2780 or go online to writeathome.net. All right. Perfect. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll be right back after the break.